Well, students from 13 different schools around the area who attended the Impact Institute committed to their future today. Fox 55's Caleb Staler tells us more. It's signing day for the students at the Impact Institute, students committing to their future. You won't likely see these students on the athletic fields, though. That's because the Impact Institute focuses on workforce prep. We focus on uh, career training programming that offers students the opportunity to go directly from high school into the workforce if that's what they would choose to do or be better prepared for that next educational step, whatever that might be. One of those students taking the next step was East Noble senior Ben Estridge. He was introduced to welding by his FFA instructor and recognized an opportunity. I noticed that there's going to be a giant uh, gap in people needed, so I seen the money uh, opportunities I could be and all the education I could get. Estridge will continue his path at Metal Technologies in Auburn. Most of the other signees today are going into other trades, including construction, automotive, cosmetology, or one of the other 14 programs offered by the Impact Institute, starting their adult life being debt-free. Paying for college is really hard, and I've seen everybody would go into debt, and I could see that I could go to like a school like Hobart, which I am going to. Um, they would, I could find a company that would pay for my college instead of having that debt and having to work out of that debt. Even though this is the first signing day for the Impact Institute, they've been setting students up for success for many years, something they recognize will be needed for the future. I think we're swinging the pendulum back in the right direction where we look at vocational opportunities and uh, kind of that connection between school and work as being equal to, uh, at the very least, equal to uh, the, the opportunities for students when they go on to a university degree. In Kendallville, Caleb Saylor, Fox 55 News.